as a former catcher, Girardi was probably flummoxed by the fact this guy right. can't do the most basic thing of catching, which is and the, catch. And the, 16 right. pass balls. And the Yankees wouldn't let him do it. Because I still believe there were a lot of the, you could talk about the post-game press conference and being more even-keeled and not being a, a, a attention convention in the dugout and the clubhouse. I think the, the, the way he went after Sanchez was a major reason why he was let go. So they obviously have gone moved mountains to try to make sure this kid is in the right head, in the right frame of mind. Now, look at Hicks last year. Did, did Hicks cost them games last year? We were having how many conversations? Why is he out there? He can't hit. And they kept putting him out there, putting him out there. It may have cost them games. And now we're seeing that, you know what, they, they were thinking about the future because they thought Hicks was really good, and they turned out to be right. Maybe they're doing the same thing with Sanchez. Leave him out there. If we lose the wild card game because of a pass ball, we'll live with it because he's going to be that much better next year, and he's going to be our next golden boy. I don't necessarily agree, but tell me I'm wrong. Well, we'll see how it plays out. Because if they start him in a wild card game and he ends up losing the game because he can't catch the ball, they've got a lot of questions to answer. And again, we, we put in to get Brian on the air today, Brian Cashman, and we were told he's not doing any interviews this week. And that's cool. He has every right to do it. But, I mean, at some point, I'm sure Boom will have to answer to this when he has his press conference today. How long can you continue to go with Gary? Because his his right. offense is not very not justifying, oh, no. you know, holding your nose at the defense. The sabermetric world, we've been called on it too. They don't care about 187. He's got 16 home runs. Extrapolate out out to a full season. A guy's hitting 30 something. Yeah, but I, but you know, so, Austin Romine has 10. Right. Austin no, Romine's not the automatic out he used to Austin be. Austin Romine, in their eyes, is not a second away from being Gary Sanchez from 2016 and Gary Sanchez from last year. They're banking on that all of a sudden it's going to click, and he's going to be Mike Piazza, that he's going to be hitting the cover off the ball, and you'll live with the defensive liabilities because he's going to win you games with the bat. That hasn't seen it. You haven't seen it yet, but they believe it's going to happen. But the other reason I disagree, and I agree with you, and I kind of disagree with the way they're handling it is, I think if you leave him out there, where he cost you a playoff game, I think that does more damage than sitting him down. Uh, and it, 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 remember the, the 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 thing that turned into a meme when one of the sacks that Eli had, and he was sitting there on the turf. Yeah, and yeah. Now, and he kind of had this dazed look on his face. Take a look, everybody, at the ball that got past Gary. That Zach, by the way, Zach Britton is locked in. Uh, that Zach Britton threw for the strikeout. He had that same look that Eli had. We had a close-up of him on yes. I think that this kid right now doesn't know what's going on. Not a bad guy. Wants to be a great player. Wants to be a great uh, catcher. But it's not happening. Now, they have 12 games remaining. Would I continue to run him out there? Absolutely I would. And you know why? Because I want him to become the Gary Sanchez that he can be offensively. And then you All can right. justify playing him. But if he's going to hit 187 and not hit the ball out, you can't justify See. taking a chance at a one-game-and-go-home game. And go home game.